All right. So can robots actually create more jobs? I think a lot of people have been very concerned about robots taking over the world and also taking over all of the jobs. Um, but after seeing the Tesla Optimus robots from the We Robot event, I kind of had some different thoughts. So I'd like to share with you what I think and also get some of your opinion too. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. So I was cracking some eggs this morning, um, you know, getting my breakfast ready. And then I recalled seeing some people post about the whole event. They were speculating that, oh, maybe some of the robots were actually teleoperated, right? So they actually don't know if all of the robots during the event was actually running on uh, AI or not. But then I'm thinking like, okay, whether they're running on AI or not, like why does it really matter, right? I mean, unless unless they specifically said that okay, our robots are running on AI, then in that case they would be lying. But you know, they never said that, so like who really cares if they were teleoperated? But so like anyway, I was cracking my eggs, and then I was thinking like okay, so it would be really nice if I just had my eggs cracked by someone, and then I was like, oh wait, what if I just had a robot in my house, and even though it's not fully autonomous, what if someone remotely, you know, in some other country is cracking my eggs for me, right? So <laughs> that would be a really nice use case, just have a bunch of robots in your house or restaurants, wherever that needs labor, and people are just totally operating these robots. This would be a perfect segue before they actually fully implement, a, you know, AI-driven robot, as you guys know, with the whole end-to-end -end robots now. You know, they, they've been trying to deploy the end-to-end -to, -end to the FSD, and you could just see how difficult it is, right? Part of it is the technical challenges, another part is the regulatory, but you can imagine if they implemented this and deploy it in robots, there's much less of a regulatory hurdle, right? There's, you know, it's not about, like, life or death. So I could imagine a lot of these robots could be in various places, and you would have people that actually have to control them. So you're actually creating more jobs. And I think a lot of times, let's say you had a robot, maybe you have a robot maid, or let's say someone just wants to have a maid in their house and then you know, do some cleaning for them and cooking, but you are pretty concerned about the privacy aspects. You don't want people to actually be in your house or live in your house. And this would be a perfect way for just to have someone remotely control robot that actually does all the things for you. So that would be a perfect task. And you could even swap out people, right? Let's say you wanted an Italian cook from somewhere, they could jump into your robot and make you some nice dish. If you want some Chinese food, you have a Chinese cook that comes into your robot. So I feel like there could be a lot of use cases. And um, even though they said that the Tesla Optimus will come out soon, um, I think a fully end-to-end perfect model is still going to take much longer. So I think this would be a perfect intermediate solution. So let me, let me know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment below. And if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.